Welcome. And thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 19th of October, 2024. The Bible reading today is Acts chapter 9, verses 19 to 28. Saul spent several days with the disciples in Damascus. At once he began to preach in the synagogues that Jesus is the Son of God. All those who heard him were astonished and asked, Isn't he the man who caused havoc in Jerusalem among those who call on this name? And hasn't he come here to take them as prisoners to the chief priests? Yet Saul grew more and more powerful and baffled the Jews living in Damascus by proving that Jesus is the Messiah. After many days had gone by, there was a conspiracy among the Jews to kill him. But Saul learned of their plan. Day and night they kept close watch on the city gates in order to kill him. But his followers took him by night and lowered him in a basket through an opening in the wall. When he came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul, on his journey, had seen the Lord, and that the Lord had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. So Saul stayed with them and moved about freely in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. Today's article titled, God Believes in You, was written by Tanya Marlowe. Tim watched in awe as his friend's 11-year-old son Joshua practised playing cricket, bowling leg spinners, top spinners and googlies. Tim himself was a cricketer, a new talent when he saw it. He predicted that Joshua would play for his country one day. Fourteen years later, After nearly quitting his profession due to injury, Josh stepped out onto the pitch for his debut England cricket match. He had all these injuries, but I never gave up on him, Tim said with pride. We all need people to believe in us, especially when we can't clearly see our God-given gifts or experience. When Saul, a persecutor of Christians, was converted, The Jerusalem disciples were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. Barnabas, however, having heard how Saul had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus in Damascus, decided to take a chance on him and brought him to the apostles. As a result, Saul, later called Paul, spoke boldly in the name of the Lord in Jerusalem. And, of course, would go on to pen most of the New Testament. Barnabas wasn't the only one to believe in Saul. God had already done that. May we be encouraged that God believes in us so much that he prepares good works for us ahead of time and cheers us on. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for choosing unlikely people and seeing our potential. Thank you for calling me, even when I don't believe in myself. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Lucy and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.